The dispute between Japan and Australia over whaling could spill over into trade. A leading Japanese business and political consultant says that unless the impasse can be resolved, it'll be harder to successfully negotiate a free trade agreement between the two countries. And on the streets of Japan, there's growing resentment about the Sea Shepherd's activities against the whaling fleet. North Asia correspondent Mark Willisy reports from Tokyo. From the high seas of the Antarctic to the TV studios of Tokyo. Last week's clash between militant conservationists and Japanese whalers is now creating diplomatic and cultural waves thousands of kilometres away. The incident was the Sea Shepherd's fault. We need to reduce the number of whales or they'll eat all the fish. After the collision between a Japanese whaling ship and the Sea Shepherd speedboat Ardi Gill, the acting Prime Minister Julia Gillard called for calm on both sides. Officials in Tokyo hit back, warning that her comments were inflaming public opinion in Japan because the whalers were operating legally in the Southern Ocean. This departure from the usual guarded diplomatic language has some fearing the relationship between these two close trading partners is under strain. We have to solve this whaling issue and uh, try, try to, to prevent the, this bilateral relationship becoming worse. Hiroshi Takaku was made an honorary member of the Order of Australia for promoting business and political exchanges between the two countries. He says the dispute over whaling could affect other issues, including negotiations over a free trade agreement between Australia and Japan. So if you cannot solve one issue like whaling, uh, how can we solve the other issues? The Rudd government has repeatedly threatened legal action against Japan over whaling if a diplomatic solution can't be reached. Even though very few Japanese even eat whale meat, there's a feeling here on the streets of Tokyo that Australia is poking its nose where it doesn't belong. Japan needs to continue to educate people overseas about our culture of eating whales. Each country has its own food culture and whales are part of ours. It's a cultural divide diplomacy is struggling to bridge, but one being played out for high stakes on the high seas. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Tokyo.